As Christians around the world prepare for Easter Sunday, they are shocked and saddened by the massive fire that heavily damaged Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. People here in our area are sharing photos on social media of past visits to the historic landmark in Paris. Tonight, Lisa Sugar talks with a local historian about the impact of the fire on people everywhere. Charles McElwee is the vice president of the Greater Hazelton Historical Society and Museum. Charles, what was going through your mind when you saw those horrific video and pictures of what happened in Paris? I think there was a collective, almost global devastation that's such a world landmark. We watched it on live TV just burn and we thought it was going to be destroyed. And it was a living cathedral, an active Catholic church. People forget that, it's not a museum. It's a, the, the seat of the Archbishop of Paris. And there was really the iconic cathedral, the most renowned cathedral in many ways on, on the planet. Everybody knows Notre Dame, dating to, to 1163. And it was just heartbreaking to watch it and thankfully, it was much of it was saved, but we, there was a point where we thought it would be a total loss. Now, when we were talking about this after it happened, uh, you said, you know, St. Gabriel's kind of is designed in the style of the cathedral. Yes, yeah, so the current St. Gabriel's built in 1927, that was modeled to be a 13th century French Gothic cathedral similar architectural style. When we think 13th century French Gothic, well, believe it or not, that's Notre Dame, completed in the 1200s and into the 1300s. So, and funny enough, the day before this all happened, uh, we saw on the front page of the Standard Speaker the announcement of the capital campaign to preserve and, and save St. Gabriel's the structure. It is in, in, in desperate need of repair and this capital campaign will support the ex exterior renovations and, 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 in, and some interior to the church. But it, uh, th that campaign, it's a reminder of the importance of preserving churches, and Notre Dame itself was actually under rehabilitation mm -hmm. work. And the fascinating part about the structure, the brilliance of it, um, the wooden timber, the roof, that dates to the 1100s. So that, all that wood, the timber dates to the 1100s, lit like a matchbox. But uh, the stone vaulting beneath it captured a lot of the timber, and had it not been for that stone vaulting, much of the interior would have been destroyed. So the brilliance of that architecture is what saved it. And had the spire not been constructed in the 1860s, much of the exterior could have been saved as well. So it just shows you the importance of preserving what was already constructed, and St. Gabriel's is certainly an example of that. And we've seen so many people on social media posting their photos. My friend Goldie Van Horn allowed me to show her photos that she was there with her husband Bill and everybody posting photos of when they were there at the cathedral in Paris. Goldie saying she had hoped to take her children there. So hopefully when it is rebuilt, because they're hoping in five years to have it rebuilt again. But we've had our own devastation in this area. Uh, I remember, you know, people talking about back in the day, the ter terrible fire at St. Joseph's Church in Hazleton and also Faith Assembly of God had burned uh, and was rebuilt in our area as well. So people remember those times and I think, you know, horrible times like that, but it brought our community together and this is really bringing the world together. So many people uh, saddened by all of this. It absolutely is. It's bringing the world together and yes, it brought Hazleton together. St. Joseph's, another landmark, first Slovak Catholic Church in the Western Hemisphere had two fires, one in the early 1900s and then again in the early 1960s. The 1960s 60s fire virtually destroyed the church mm -hmm. and it was rebuilt and it's a magnificent structure in the city. St. Gabriel's even had his own problem, a plane in 1953 grazed the roof and, and, and crashed in a nearby yard. So um, St. Gabriel's wasn't spared either and that's why it's important to support your local churches because these are cultural landmarks and they're also houses of worship and, and just St. Gabriel's alone I mean, you just look at that structure. It's rose window modeled on the Cathedral of Reims in France. It's stained glass windows designed by a renowned uh, stained glass maker in Munich, Germany. Um, that structure itself, again, modeled like Notre Dame and also St. Patrick's Cathedral in Manhattan. These are cultural landmarks in, in, in our city and we need to support them. And that's why, you know, please consider donating to not only St. Gabriel's campaign, but support all churches in the community as well. Absolutely. And we hope if you have photos of the cathedral that you will keep them as a memento. We look forward to them rebuilding the cathedral in Paris. I'm sure it will be magnificent once it is rebuilt. It will. It will take time, but it will be back.
tonight, Charles McElwee, our dear friend, Vice President of the Greater Hazleton Historical Society and Museum. Always glad to have you here. We hope to talk to you soon. Absolutely. Thank you.